And we begin this half hour with more fallout from the Detroit Pride Festival. A white supremacist group showed up, causing a major uproar over the weekend. And today, Detroit's top cop addressed the matter at City Council, but DPD's tactics are drawing criticism from the LGBTQ community. And 7 Action News reporter Brian Abel is live in Detroit with more on what was the mood like at the meeting today, Brian? Alicia Allen, a lot of anger, frustration, emotion. This is one of the more lively city council meetings that I've ever been to as members of the LGBTQ community as well as supporters say that what happened on Saturday never should have happened in the first place. No KKK, no racist USA. Oh, children were hurt. In fact, people keep saying that no one... So let me, let me just say this. Disruptions, anger, and outbursts. The city council grappled with the aftermath of this. The Nazi flag waving as white supremacists sought to incite violence at Motor City Pride last weekend with police right next to them. Council members praising Chief Craig and DPD's tactics. They were not escorting because I'm pretty sure as they were walking with them, those individuals were calling them all kinds to, again, as the chief stated, trying to arise some type of riot so that they will have a Charlottesville. But people at the festival and others seeing what happened, not as confident that police responded properly. I want Chief, Chief James Craig to be fired. I want him to be removed. Thank and I know. want this mayor to be removed Thank by the citizens know. of the city of Detroit. Allowing Nazis to speak, march, and organizing is being sympathetic to them. Images that were flashed around the world initially through social media did have the appearance of Detroit police officers escorting National Socialist Movement, neo-Nazis, and the close proximity of tens of thousands of Motor City Pride uh, participants. It endangered residents uh, who were walking around downtown. It endangered t tourists as well. This should have never happened. We were there. Yep. Our kids were there. We were afraid. I think that those men wishing her death in front of her face didn't hurt her. I have news for you. Those things are just as worthy of a hospital visit as any kind of gunshot. Don't downplay what this did to people in this city. And recap, Craig told City Council that Detroit police, they had an idea that this group might show up, but didn't know for sure until they actually did. And officers, they were creating a barrier to keep those supremacists, the hate group, as well as the counter protesters away from each other so that violence did not happen. Reporting live in downtown Detroit, Brian Abel, 7 Action News.